Monday morning means back to business at Stockland Livestock Exchange. It's a small sale today, but we're out here maybe buy a few cattle and I brought a couple in to sell. Even during the slow month of July, rancher Michael Schmidt knows prices for cattle are still going strong in Washington. This year will maybe be the, the highest that these guys have ever sold calves for. Auction house owner Jack McGinnis agrees. For all classes of the cattle, I think we're at near or at record highs. But as beef continues to be what's for dinner, it could cost more to put that steak on your plate this fall. We've already seen it not really spike, but just gradually inch up at the, at the retail level. Unable to feed their cattle because of drought and high temperatures, ranchers in other areas of the country are selling off their stock. So calves are going to feedlots early at a smaller, lighter weight, and actually right now filling feedlot inventories with numbers that they wouldn't have got till fall or winter a lot of times. That early sell-off, however, will leave a void that will have to be filled from somewhere. We may possibly be selling cattle out of this area, especially females. Increased demand that could increase prices down the road. It'll affect the market in that area more than it will in our area. Either way, a good sign for Washington beef. Oh, it's a good year for the, for the local ranchers.